In this video, we're gonna take you step by step on how to get the highly anticipated MetaMask airdrop. Joseph Lubin, the founder of Consensus, which is the company behind MetaMask, has confirmed that they are planning to launch a token. However, there is no confirmation of an airdrop yet, but many people are sure that there will be an airdrop just at a later date. This means that we're in a good position to get in early and my current expectation is that you can probably get around a thousand dollars worth of MetaMask tokens. And if you're gonna go that extra mile, I can foresee you getting more than $10,000 worth of airdrops. And we have seen the power of airdrops. Let's go! First and foremost, let's talk about strategies. If you've interacted with some of the top dApps on the Ethereum ecosystem, because MetaMask is an Ethereum wallet, then it's safe to say that you've already ticked off one of the airdrop criteria, which is interacting with smart contracts or conducting transactions. Because there's on-chain evidence that shows you have used MetaMask to swap tokens or provide liquidity at Uniswap, Curve, Aave, Balancer, any sort of signing data, the one that pops up on your MetaMask notification to approve any sort of transactions, that's the one I'm talking about. So one thing we've learned from the Arbitrum airdrop is that they were very generous at rewarding loyal users. People who conducted transactions during a distinct nine month period got more points and more airdrops than everyone else. So for MetaMask, that would mean that you would have to regularly interact with the Ethereum dApps over a long period of time. So it's not just one time, but over the course of many, many months. For example, I can swap some tokens on Uniswap today, provide liquidity on Curve tomorrow, maybe supply some collateral on Compound next week, or even borrow stable coins on Aave two weeks later. You repeat that over a couple of months, and then I would say you're good to go. The second strategy is to use the built-in swap and bridge feature within MetaMask. All right, so you go to your MetaMask and make sure that the network is Ethereum mainnet. It's set by default. Why Ethereum mainnet? Because consensus focuses on Ethereum, so it would make sense that we would swap ERC20 tokens. It's a burner wallet, so I don't have any ETH. So you hit the swap button and then you can swap ETH or other ERC20 tokens into another ERC20 token. So say I wanna swap some ETH to SDT. It's verified on eight sources. You hit the button and you will have already performed a swap on MetaMask. So for the bridge, you go to portfolio.metamask.io slash bridge. And the MetaMask bridge is not exactly a bridge it's actually a bridge aggregator. So when you bridge from one network to another, it actually finds the fastest and cheapest bridge for you to use. And all of those bridges are vetted by consensus themselves. Once you've bridged your funds over, you've already completed that part. It is also best to bridge to other networks as frequently as you can, but be careful of the gas fees if you don't have enough ETH. So for the third strategy, and personally for me, I find this optional, is to create a Gnosis Safe wallet. So Gnosis Safe is partners with Consensus, and they're basically building a multi-sig wallet. So it's like Ledger or Trezor for Ethereum, but it's also available on 12 other networks. And it's backed by some of the biggest names you know in crypto, including the man, the myth, the legend himself, Vitalik Buterin. So to create a Gnosis safe wallet, you click this button here, launch wallet. You can then create a new safe and choose the name and network which you want your safe on. Then add the owners of the safe as well as the number of owners required to confirm a safe transaction before execution. Remember, you will need some ETH to cover gas fees for making your Gnosis safe wallet. So for the fourth strategy, which I also find optional, is you can donate on Gitcoin. So Gitcoin has close ties with consensus. So it is also likely that donators can qualify for a MetaMask airdrop. But in order to donate on Gitcoin, you will need a GitHub account. So you can choose to donate to any one of these grants for as little as $10 if you want, or if you don't know which grant to donate to, you can always donate to MetaMask. 
So for the last strategy that you could do is to sign up for the Infura Early Access Program. So Infura is the one who manages MetaMask, but they are also owned by Consensus. So for this one, I also think it is optional. And in fact, it's the least likely strategy that I would use. Because if you look at the form, it requires you to have experience in running blockchain infrastructure and to be able to participate and provide feedback on their products. But if you are in fact a blockchain developer, this could be worth a shot. So that is it for the MetaMask airdrop guide. I hope you guys find it very helpful. And if you want more detailed instructions, you can find our MetaMask airdrop article on box mining. This is Airdrop Ron, shining out.